Hey everybody, welcome to the Nano Channel. I am Dano and I'm back with another Last Jedi action figure unboxing review. This is going to be looking at uh, Chewbacca today. Chewbacca and a Porg, no less. I love it. I love it. I really wanted to open this one up and just get right into it. Uh, but first, though, let's take a look at the outside of the packaging. Here we go. Alright, there is Chewbacca. Y you notice that's not so much a painting as much as it is a photo. It's like real photo that's been touched up, of course, in Photoshop to make it look cool with lighting. But that is a real photo. That's not a painting. Oh, my little force link went off. All right, but so here's Chewbacca. Okay, you know, I think he looks a little werewolfy. Face could be a little bit better. Uh, or maybe it's the eye painting. I don't know. We'll compare it to the other one in just a sec. But he does come with a bowcaster. It looks like it's in multiple pieces. And there's a porg that he comes with. There's a force link thing there. Disney Hasbro. Not for kids under four. So, well, four and up is what it says. There he is, Chewbacca. So he is supposed to look like that. So he looks in the picture there. There's Chewbacca with a force link. It says where to activate sounds. A bunch of disclaimers. Don't put things in your nose. Barcode number. All right, let's do this. Let's get this thing opened. I'm going to cut the tape on the side. And while I'm doing that, I'd like to mention for all of these action figure reviews and any of my toy reviews, I like to put a link to uh, Amazon in the video description as well as a pinned comment. Because if you guys want to go ahead and get your own version of this, you can right on Amazon and whatever you spend on there I get a couple pennies on the dollar so it goes to help the channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra which is the part I like the most but if you do want to help out the channel I also sell t-shirts through spreadshirt.com and yeah other than that just please give me a like subscribe if you like what you're seeing and you want more of it and that's really all I can ask for alright here goes Oh, there's another little piece of his blaster fell out there are... Oh, there's quite a few pieces to this blaster. All right, let me bust out the porg. Oh, he's so little. He's so little. I hope they sell, like, a whole pack of porgs. I'm going to do, like, a... I don't want to buy, like, 20 Chewbacca's just to have all the porgs. Okay. This is a... This is an interesting feeling figure. We'll have to compare him to another Chewbacca in just a minute. First, though, I'm going to put his little bowcaster together. I don't know that there are instructions. There probably are. I'm going to go ahead and just assume that there are, but I'm also going to not even worry about that. I'm just going to put this together myself, if I can figure it out. Okay, this, oh, this isn't too bad. Okay, so time for close-ups. Here's Chewbacca. Hey, guys, what's going on? He looks pretty good, I guess. I mean, I like the fur. The texture on him is good. He feels like a solid figure. His arm is bent. He has a 5 POA figure, which means 5 points of articulation. So there's 1 leg, 2 leg, 1 arm, 1 arm. So we're at 4. And then 5 would be the head. Though the head does not move much. You can see it moves just a little bit. Uh, but that's about it. So technically this is like 4 and a fourth articulation. Um, there he is. So he's got his little bandolier on. You can see his bag. The texture in the sculpt on it looks good. The painting on the face, I feel, could be done a little bit better. He looks like Teen Wolf. He does look a lot like Teen Wolf and not so much like Chewbacca. So that, I will tell you, I'm, I'm not a super fan of. I'm just not that into it. The Porg, though, like a little gradient painting on the Porg. Look at the textures on him. Either that or it's somebody's fingerprint. I can't tell. But, oh, it's the dots. Yeah, the little dot matrix printing. That's... I like it. I like the por I like that he comes with the porg. And he also comes with his bowcaster, right? So notice this little piece in the top middle right here. It is too tall to sit like flush on anything. And you have to either put it on that side or you can move it to this side. Oop, I just broke the front. But either way it ends up being crooked. <gasps> I just thought of something. I had it on upside down. If I put it on the other way, then it works out way better. Okay, I'm a dingus. I put it the other way, and now it actually works out better. So that's something you should know. There's a right way and a wrong way to put that piece on. And again, the top piece just kind of sits on there. Ooh, kind of blurry. But that's okay. Let's put this in Chewbacca's hand, and let's see how he looks holding it. Yeah, that does just come apart. I might have to glue that together. Oh, yeah. Even just playing with this thing, like trying to put it in his hand, it breaks. So that's, that's a little annoying. I would have rather just had a solid piece. Okay, so I'm not going to put it in his, like, wonky arm. I'm going to put it in his straight arm. See if I can get that in there without breaking the thing. 
Yeah, his hand barely even grabs this crossbow. That's a little upsetting. A little upsetting. Okay, so after much struggling, I finally got it to stick into his hand. Uh, there it is. That's what he looks like when he's got the bowcaster in his hand. And I gotta say, you have to glue it. You've, right there, there's a little seam up top where it kind of comes apart. And then also this front piece comes apart as well. And I definitely would recommend gluing this thing, especially if you're a kid. Every time you try to put that into his hand, it's going to come apart otherwise. And I, it's like one of these things, if you want to put it in there, put it in there and leave it there and don't remove it. I'm going to have to say, so far, of all the action figures I've unboxed, I am kind of disappointed with this one. I like the Porg. The Porg is cute. But as far as quality of the figure, Chewbacca's face looks weird. It looks weird. Um, the Bowcaster doesn't work too well because it falls apart. In fact, I want to compare this Chewbacca to the Force Awakens Chewbacca, just so we can see what you know we're up against from last year. Now, this Chewbacca that I'm about to show you is the one that came with the Millennium Falcon. That Millennium Falcon right there, the one with the giant Nerf gun in it. This is the Chewbacca from that. The face sculpt on the old Chewbacca is way better. The teeth, it's okay that his teeth are there, but he does look very vampire-y. But the paint job on the new one is better. I don't know. Like, what? Do you, which one do you think is better? Force Awakens or Last Jedi? I I like the la I like Force Awakens better. I like just I I don't know. It looks more like Chewbacca to me. This does not look like Chewbacca. It looks like a different Wookiee altogether. The bowcaster is a little bit upsetting. I do really like the Porg though. The only way I'm going to decide if this is a winner or not, if this is a decent figure. This is what I'm going to bet it on right now. If the Force Link makes Porg noises, then I'm going to be okay with it. I'm going to be like, you know what? Okay. Solid buy. If it doesn't make Porg noises, I would say steer clear of this one. I mean, maybe if you can get a hold of a different one, then do that. Or even go to like a local toy store. Look, the bowcaster just fell apart. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I, would, I can't recommend this one with a toy like that that falls apart. Um, unless you really want to glue it. But like I'm saying, if you can get the other one, go for it. If you can get an old one from like the 90s or even 2000s, go to a local toy store. Not like a Toys R Us or Big Box store like Walmart, but like a local family-run toy store in your area. They usually have old vintage Star Wars figures from like the 90s, even though they're super muscly. Or even the early 2000s. And buy one of those instead of this. I just... Alright, let's see what the Force Link has to say. Oh, I gotta turn it on first. Here goes. Sounds like Chewbacca, right? What is the next one? It's pretty good. Those are the three. And one more. What's the fourth? Let's put it back on. Oh, no. Okay, let's do some sound effects. Ooh, let's hear the bowcaster. There we go. Okay. Alright, so those are the sound effects. No pork noises, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mark a fail on this one. You know, normally I stay positive on these videos, and even so, I like the pork. That's probably the most positive part about this. But for eight dollars a figure, it's not worth it for just the pork. If for some reason they do come out with like an accessories pack, like they've done in the past, and it was just like six or seven porgs in a different package, I'd go for that. Does the pork do anything? There's not a blue mark on there. No, the pork doesn't. But I, I had to find out, right? Guys, let me know what you think about this figure down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a nice thumbs up if you like seeing these unboxings. I try to be as fair and honest as possible while usually remaining positive. So I hope that comes through. Guys, you know I love you. That's it for now. Until next time, may the Force have with you. And goodbye forever.